Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and welcome to this little Hornet update for the 28th of July, 2018. So being the summer, things are a bit slower right now with a lot of guys on holiday, but nevertheless, there is a lot of progress being done on the Hornet right now. Uh, the focus being on the AIM-120, uh, the AIM-9X with the helmet mount of sight, um, bringing laser guided bombs to the Hornet, uh, the F-Pass page, among other things. But today we're going to take a look at some of the new features in the cockpit that will be uh, coming prior to this. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the Auto Acquisition Mode, or AACQ. And this is different than the other Auto Acquisition Modes for ACM, like Boresight, Vertical, and Wide, in that it gives you the option to also lock on targets automatically in much greater ranges out five, outside of 5 nautical miles. And there's two ways we can do this. Uh, the first is we can go ahead and we can put the TDC over hit, and then by going right on the Sensor Hat Switch, also known as the Castle Switch, we can initiate an SDT lock on that target. Now, just as you would if you were to press down on the TDC switch. We'll go ahead and dump this lock. Now, the auto acquisition element is if you have the TDC not over a hit and you go castle right, it'll automatically lock up that first target by range. Uh, pretty handy for a fast lock for uh, targets uh, at longer ranges. Now, you also may notice at the, um, the bottom center of the tactical area, we have 45. 44, 43, and so on. And that's the uh, time to go for the missile on the rail right now to reach out and hit the target we have locked. Now, if we go ahead and launch that missile, we have a triangle uh, in the bottom along the azimuth towards the target. And this will start moving towards the target to kind of give you a visual representation of the progress of that missile towards the locked target. And at the bottom of the triangle, you see the time to go for impact. So we have 25, 24, 23, and so on. And again, this gives you a better representation, a better understanding of um, how soon it will take for that missile to hit, and if the missile has um, already timed out and not hit that target. Let's go ahead and dump that lock. Now, the next thing we'll talk about is, you know, a... A good quality of a good HOTAS system is not to have to take your hands off the stick and throttle. And when working the radar, it's really important. And one of the things we're implementing now is the ability to use the TDC outside the tactical area to adjust different elements of the radar. So for example, if I were to put the TDC over my bar setting here, we now we see we have the bar settings for one, two, four, and six bar. So if I move the TDC then over to six bar, and I press the TDC, now I have six bar. I can do the same thing with toggling silent mode on and off. Now coming down here to the uh, radar range settings, I can put it over the up arrow to increase the range or the down arrow to uh, decrease the range. Uh, coming down, we can do the same thing with the azimuth down here. Now go to 60 azimuth. And this will hold true for other elements. In fact, you can even go to the uh, data page. And we can bring it up to the aging setting. Right now we have an age of 8. And say we can move that to 16 instead. And the last element is, in addition to using the up and down arrows to change your radar uh, display range, what you can also do is move the TDC outside the tactical area and back in with point, within 0.8 seconds. So right now we have a range of 40. So if I go out and in, we go to 80. Or conversely, if I come down here to the bottom and I go out and in, we go to 40. So it's a pretty handy way to change your radar range as well. Anyhow, that's some of the new stuff coming in the Hornet in the near future. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.